G'day guys, how are we going? Well, tonight I'm gonna to cook you guys up an absolute storm down there on the campfire. And you're probably starting to think, well, what sort of a storm can you cook up when you've only got a billy sitting around? Well, there's gonna be a bit more to it than just the billy. Because down there, I've got my camp oven getting nice and hot, ready to go, stuff to go inside that. And you're probably starting to think, well, now you're getting a bit interested because now we're starting to talk about camp ovens. But one of the best things about this whole cook up they're gonna to do tonight, it only requires two main items that you're gonna to use to cook this whole meal up down there on the campfire. Good old Billy and my camp oven that's down there getting nice and hot. So I'll go and get all the ingredients out and I'll show you what's going on because this is gonna be an absolute cracker. I'll go and get everything. Okay, so here's what we've got going on here tonight, apart from the few flies. I'm gonna do a nice little rack of lamb. This is gonna be fantastic in the camp oven. Just a nice, nice size one there. I'm gonna do some steamed veggies. Now, a mate of mine gave me this idea. Instead of using you know, veggies in the can, I'm gonna use some steam. You don't generally use these when you're in the microwave at home, but these go fantastic. In the billy, when I get some warm water going on that bit later on, I'm gonna dice up some potato and make some, and roast these up with the, uh, with the, the rack of lamb. That's gonna go in the camp oven a bit later on with some herbs and oil and, and garlic and all that sort of stuff. Gonna taste fantastic. So I've got some garlic, got some herbs going there, good old Italian herbs. And then we're gonna finish it off with gravy going over the whole lot now. And as I say, the, all I'm gonna use for this is a billy and a camp oven, apart from me plate, knife and fork. That is it. This is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Let's get into it. Right, eh? Got this camp oven nice and hot now, so that's been sitting on there for a while. Get a nice bit of temperature in it. There's some good heat coming out of that campfire, that's for sure. So, let's bring my shovel over here. Some good heat in that, that's for sure. No worries going on in there. Right, eh? Let's put all this down here. And here we go. Put that in there. Oh, listen to that. Now it's going to put a little bit of oil over the top of it just to moisten him up a little, little bit so it doesn't dry out while it's cooking up. And then, as you've seen in plenty, <laughs> plenty of my videos, I'm pretty partial to a bit of garlic feeding him. I love it. It just tastes great, the old garlic. So I'm just going to put some of that on there. Oh. Excuse me, I'll put the cap back on him. Put the lid back on that. Now, I'm going to cook this up. This is, won't take all that long. Now, this will probably cook up in probably about an hour, hour 20 is probably tops. So I'll get some coals out of the fire here. There's plenty of coals going on in there. I'll put it out here somewhere. Nice and... And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the rack of lamb, I'm going to give it probably, probably about a... 15, 20 minute head start, and then I'll chop the veggies, the potatoes up, and I'll put those in there. God, there's some heat coming out of that. But this is going to be magnificent. <laughs> Old camp oven, they are feeding them. They, they are fantastic on what you can cook in this. In, in You know, when you're out here in the bush, it is so simple. Need to get a bit more coals going on here. There we go, that'll do for the first stage of it anyway. So yeah, so I'm gonna cook this up fairly slowly, about an hour, hour 20 for the whole cook up. Um, give it about a yeah, 15, 20 minute head start. I'll chop the potatoes up, get those in here as well, get those roasting up, and then we'll put the gravy and the veggies in, pretty much towards the end of it. Okay, so that's going nicely down there. I'll just get the potato already diced up, ready to roast up and chuck in the camp oven. Now, I'm just gonna do one, one for myself, cause it's only just myself. So just gonna do a couple little cuts here and then we'll dice him up. And uh, they, these will cook up absolutely beautiful. So we'll do that one there. Just cut them into squares like so. These will be magnificent. And this one here. Okay, dice him up, this one up as well. Righto, so I've got a plastic bag here and I've showed you in a few videos that I've done with, especially with camp oven cook-ups. I like to put my potatoes in a little plastic bag here and then I put some oil in them. Good dose of oil and that helps them, stops them drying out when they go in, when they do go in the camp oven. 
And the good old Italian herbs. Now I, I, I do like these. These are, taste amazing when, when it's all, all roasted up. And then, yep, good old bit of garlic. <laughs> I'll put a, uh, a, oh, a bit more, because I do, do like a bit of garlic. So I'll put a bit more in there. And then I'm gonna mix all this up and then that's going to sort of marinate my chips, I suppose, if you like. The, these roasts, when these roast up in there, these will taste absolutely amazing. These will taste fantastic. So they're ready to go there. I'm going to give that camp oven probably a little bit more of a head start. It's only been going on sort of about five or so minutes. So the potatoes are ready to go. So I'll give that a bit more go, and then we'll get the potatoes going in the camp oven. Okay, so we'll get these chips going now, all the roasted potatoes. That's all I need from that. Oh, magnificent. Let's just give that a bit of a clean off there because I'll put some fresh ones on top of it. I'll just grab my shovel so I can put the lid on top of it without it sitting on the dirt. Listen to that, and that is browning up absolutely amazing now already. Camp ovens, fitting, you, you can't beat them, they are just amazing things. So I'll put all these potatoes in here, I'm gonna roast all these up. Give them a bit of a stir in. Right, I get this lid back on again. Yeah, sizzling away there. It's Oh, camp ovens, I, I, just, I just love them. They're just fantastic things to cook on. Especially on the open fire, absolutely amazing things. So I'll get some more coals on the lid of this. Don't need any more on the bottom. There's enough heat come off the fire. And you just notice here with, with my fire here, any, any wood as I top it up, I'm putting the wood to the back. So I keep all this open at the front here. And it's just so much easier, you know, to, to get your shovel in there, get some coals out and put on top of your camp oven without sort of messing around with your fire and busting it up and making it fall apart. That is absolutely the go. And there's a slight breeze, there's, there's not much, but there's a slight breeze blowing this way too. And that's another reason why I've got my camp oven sitting on this side. So a bit like your fan forced oven at home, I suppose. As the heat blows through, it's, it's getting on the camp oven there. Absolutely fantastic. This is gonna be great. And that's just perfect size wood, you know, for, for a camp oven, sort of that, about that two inches in diameter sort of thing. Um, you know, breaks down nice and easily, nice and quickly, and gives you these nice sort of coal blocks, perfect for your camp oven. So it's just a perfect fire, just a lot of heat coming out of it, bit of a breeze blowing through, good size wood, and I've got plenty of it. So it's gonna be an absolute cracker. Just about every sort of 15, 20 minutes or so, just give it a bit of a quarter of a turn. Just to balance out that heat that's coming through it and helps it to cook nice and evenly. Okay, we're into the midway checkup. So this has only been going for about half an hour. So I just want to give it a bit of a check now. Got it sizzling away absolutely beautiful in there. So just get the coals off it, off the top and I'll put some new ones on it. Now, I've already got my billy going on at the back too, ready for when the, the gravy and the veggies got to go in, because that's one of the key things, you know, you've got everything that's got to line up at the same time. So by the time this is all cooked in here, you want everything all ready to go. So, you know, you don't want to get this all cooked and then start putting your billy on or, your, you know, to boil up your water, because, you know, this is going to sit around for that much longer. So by the time this is all ready to go, this is going to be cooked, the water's going to be boiled, Gravy's going to be done, veggie's going to be done, everything's going to be ready to dish up at the same time. Where's my shovel? I need my shovel here so I don't have to put the lid on the ground. Righto, let's have a look, look at this. Let's get all the coals off it there. Righto, oh, that is, that is fantastic in there. Have a look at that. 
Beautiful. That's the thing with the uh, bit of rack of lamb. It doesn't take that long, and those veggies, they're toasting up just absolutely beautiful. And the garlic, <laughs> the garlic coming out of there is, oh, camp ovens. Oh, you can't beat them, fair nickum. So I'll get the lid back on top of that, and uh, we'll get that in a bit closer again. I'm not going to worry about coals on the bottom because there's so much heat coming out of that, it doesn't really need them. So I'll get some coals back on the top again. So we're half an hour in. So this will be, in another half an hour, this will be absolutely cooked to a treat. So I'll get some more. Oh, it's starting to sizzle away in there already. <laughs> there's, there's absolutely nothing that you can't cook inside a camp oven when you're out here in the bush. You know, here we are cooking up an amazing meal rack of lamb, roast veggies, we're going to steam some veggies, gravy, all out here in the bush. I mean, you know, it's just fantastic what you can cook up out here in one of these and some very basic gear to do it. Just fantastic. I love it. Oh, no. Getting on close to an hour for that cook up now. I'll check it again in a, in a bit of a minute, but I'm just going to get the veggies going now. I'll just get me a bit of a booty going in here. There. And then veggies, they're just going to go straight in there. Microwave, but out in the bush, how about that, eh? And the gravy, I'm just going to uh, cut the corner off him. Probably not enough. Here we go, that'll be plenty. So we'll put that in there. Now that's only just got to heat up now, so that's all good so I'm gonna let that heat up for maybe five maybe ten minutes and by the time this is all ready it's gonna be absolutely ready to dish up so I'll keep the lid off it now I reckon this is ready to dish up about an hour ten hour fifteen a rack of lamb shouldn't take long cook it nice and slow and this is gonna be this is gonna be absolutely magnificent so we'll pull it over the side here let's have a look at it Get the lid off, moment of truth. <laughs> oh, have a look at that. Right, I'm gonna take it over the table over there. We'll dish him up. This is ready to go. Gravy's ready, veggies are ready. It's all done. Let's get into it. Right, oh. Let's get this one dished up. This is going to be magnificent. Have a go at that. Right on. Have a go at that. Rack of lamb right here, out here in the bush. Magnificent, <laughs> I love this stuff. Right on, get a couple of spoonfuls of potatoes on there. One there. Another one there. Get the billy, get the gravy, and get the veggies up here. Put him up here. Now these are only meant to be for microwave apparently. After a mate of mine showed me this little trick. Steamed veggies right here on the campfire. Look at this. Sensational. <laughs> Back in there, and then a bit of gravy. How good is this? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, what a meal. Now, there's no reason why you still can't eat well. Just because you're out camping doesn't mean you still can't cook up amazing meals. Have a go at that. Rack of lamb, roasted veggies, roasted spuds in the camp oven, and good old steamed veggies with gravy got the lot. I'm going to sit down here and get into this. Let's go and see what it goes like. Oh, have a go at this. Oh, have a look at this. Oh, they are just magnificent. Look at that. Beautiful. How's the meat? Look at that. Absolutely cooked superb. About an hour, 10, 15, absolute max. 
This is sensational. And here we are out here in the bush, dishing up meals like this. Rack of lamb, some steamed veggies, and some roast veggies, all there in the camp oven. What more do you want? Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna get into this, and um, hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll be pretty keen. If you're gonna knock up one of these, let me know, because I'd like to see how it goes. But until then, guys, I'm gonna enjoy this, and we'll see you on the next one. Good on you guys, thanks for tuning in. Uru.